Dan Ullman, Mike Beer, the co-feature at Monmouth Park on Saturday. Race number 10, it's the Grade 3 Red Bank Stakes at one mile on the turf. It's a race, it's a card you can bet with a DRF Bets account. Sign up, get 10 times the sign-up bonus. Bet 20, get 200. DRF.com forward slash bet is where you need to go for all the information. Here's the field for the Red Bank, and there's going to be a big favorite here, and deservedly so. Yeah. The number two synchrony is 6-5 to five on the morning line. Just won the Grade 3 Ocean Port last time out. And let's just say things didn't go well for him in that race, and he still won easy. Yeah, they didn't go well for him early, that's for sure. I mean, he got sandwiched, slammed at the start. I mean, he took a really hard bump after that, after the bump at the start, which did leave him out of position a little bit. Uh, well, no, boy, did Joe, did Joe Bravo yeah, just do everything yeah, yeah. right in that race. I mean, he gave him the perfect trip from off the pace, saved every inch, got through on the inside. Um, Syncrity did the rest. He was better than those horses. He won that race really easily. And then you you know get to the Red Bank day and you start going through the field. I mean, there's some good horses in here, but uh, isn't he just better than these horses? You would think on paper he's better than these horses. You're right. Sandwiched at the start. There wasn't a lot of pace, and he was last on the rail, but yeah. Joe kept him inside. The rail opened up. Synchrony, as you said, did the rest. And the question is, what kind of trip can he get? Last year in the Red Bank, he was wired by Irish Strait, who may right. not be the same Irish Strait that what he was when he was pulling off triple digit buyers yeah. over this course last year but he's only run three times this year and he hasn't shown that speed and something tells me that Antonio Guerrero yeah. is sending even though there is some other speed in here mm -hmm. I think he's gonna get a spot I agree with that and I almost sort of feel like it's the only chance that they have here they got to send this horse and I to me not just send him to get forward send him to try and wire this field because I think that's the best chance that he has to beat a horse like Synchrony who's just in really good form right now as you point out He's run some pretty big races in the past. He's run some fast races. Um, he likes this turf course. Um, if he can somehow make it to the front in this race, it's not going to be easy for him because there's speed to his outside, but if he can somehow get there, he's got races good enough. And Time Form US is going to note the speed to the outside because the seven and the eight, they have speed. Conquest Enforcer, the number seven, is stretching out after showing speed against Canadian champion Pink Lloyd on synthetic in the Jacques Cartier. Uh, Pink Lloyd is just a superstar sprinter in yeah. Canada, and Conquest Enforcer in just five against him. Conquest Enforcer is probably more of a turf miler. He's with Jorge Navarro now. Yeah, I mean, it's a big, I guess it's a big trainer change. Um, we'll see if he can, if he can, not, doesn't necessarily, I don't want to say he has to move him up. He's got to get him back to his very best races, because this horse has run some really big races in the past. I don't know if he can still run races like that, Dan. Um, I've always sort of felt like he was more of a sprinter kind of horse, not a two-turn route kind of horse. But he's pretty talented. If Navarro can find a way to get him to run his best race, he's a dangerous horse. I know they've tried to make a biting star into kind of a turf sprinter. I don't think that's his game, especially when he drew the rail last time out going five and a half yeah. against a really sharp sprinter in Imprimis. This is a horse I think has middle distance speed. I think Paco Lopez is going to be real aggressive with him, and I think there's a good chance he could hook up with Conquest Enforcer. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what other choice they had but to try and come out of there running and see if he's fast enough to get up there and be part of this pace. I also don't, you know, he's a pretty nice horse, and they don't run him on turf that often but I think he's in against some horses that's better than him. The field of courage could show some speed if he runs in this race. He's also cross-entered at Kentucky Downs. He's stretching out off several sprints for Rudy Rodriguez. Uh, this is a horse that I think is best on soft turf. Yeah. He was also a vet scratch at Saratoga on July 29th. Yeah, I mean, I guess if we get a lot of rain, he's a horse you want to take a second look at based on his three turf starts so far for Rudy. He's not good enough to win this Is race. it over for Force the Pass? He was one of the better three-year-old mm -hmm. turf horses way back in 2015. He had a very good campaign as a four-year-old. Then he missed his entire five-year-old campaign with injury. He has raced three times this year. I didn't think he had the greatest trip in the poker two starts back. Yeah. Maybe you could say, well, that didn't work out for him, but he just didn't fire in the ocean port at all. Yeah, I agree with that. You know, his poker was weird. It felt like they gave away a good position in that race, yeah. but he just didn't fire at all in the stretch of that race. Now, he didn't run it all last time either, so you are starting to get to the point with him where you just feel like it never really panned out for him, and it's not going to come back. Maybe a mile, if you believe, is a little short for synchrony. It works in the favor of the five special envoy, a horse that's tactical enough to make his own trip. This is a Virginia bred going out for a top barn, Arno de la Cour. Last time out off of a long layoff, he ran creditably against Stick Stately Dude, who is okay. I think this horse has a little bit of a chance in his second start as a seven-year-old. Yeah, I was a little interested. Um, I do think he's going to have to really improve to win this race. And even going back, you know, he's not, to me anyway, I don't know if you agree with this or not, he's not one of the horses 
who even has the back race? Is there going to be good enough to be synchrony? I just don't, I just don't know that he's good enough, Dan. Delarna ran well, a career best, two starts back over this course in the cliffhanger. It was not well enough to beat Force the Pass in Irish Strait, two horses that were then well beaten by synchrony. Yeah. His most recent start at Indiana Grand was not encouraging. And it wasn't, I mean, you know, he couldn't have been any wider in that race. I mean, True. I don't know how you're going to win it from the parking lot off the top of the turn there. Um, but he didn't come in with a big finish in that race either. I actually felt like he ran well in the cliffhanger, two starts back. Yes. He was taken back to last, forced to pass on Irish Strait, went right up to the pace together. He was trying to catch him in the stretch. He was actually making up ground, but that race didn't really set up that well for him. I thought he ran okay in that race. He's got some races. Last year was a three-year-old that felt like he could be a progressive four-year-old. He's a big price in this race. I doubt he could beat Synchrony. I'll use him underneath. Your idea in this race as we take a look at the picks is to use Synchrony on top of a long shot. That is Delarna, yeah. who's 12 to 1 on the morning line. You're going to go 2, 1, and 5. I just think Synchrony is better than these yeah. horses. The price is unappetizing. I went 2, 7, and 3 in the grade 3. Red Bank, one of the co features at Monmouth Park on Saturday. Bet it with a DRF Bets account. You get 10 times the sign up bonus when you go to drf.com forward slash bet and sign up for DRF Bets. Approximate post time for the grade 3 Red Bank and Synchrony. 509 Eastern. Good luck.